Greetings, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So, timer, start, run. Hopefully this time I can do better at getting to the boss unscathed, so I can have all of my Estus, which I'm definitely going to need. Previously learned that homing soul mass will fire backwards, so I'll have to keep on my toes about that, because I cannot block it with my shield. My shield only has 50% magic reduction, and 5 or 6 homing soul masses are more than capable of killing me through that 50% reduction. So I have to get out of the way. Unfortunately, I am not especially well practiced that I didn't sit at the bonfire. Crap. Oh well. I have so far to spawn one of them. This will help contribute to the rest of them despawning, I suppose. So I have to run back to the bonfire and sit down for my extra two Estus. Also, I forgot to level up. I am just right on top of things today. get right to the speed up so that I don't waste any time uh, recording with garbage. Alright, and I'm back at death's door. Now then, I tried to think of if I could improve my armaments in any way while I was at the blacksmith, but then I realized something. When she got up the second time, when I was assaulting her with two-handing my mace, as compared to when I was assaulting her with my sword in two hands, I seemed to have did it a lot more damage. A larger chunk of it was missing when she came out of the ground when I was using my sword. So I'm wondering if she has multiple armor types. If she's considered unarmored for the human half, and then armored for the, what is it, chitin exoskeleton on her scorpion half, which mean, which would mean that I do more damage with the sword on her and more damage with the mace on her body armor. Either way, I definitely know I did more damage with the sword. So, how about you? Here I come. And I missed with the last attack, so that was a waste of damage. Two, three, four, and a fifth, and I'm still alive. Not going to be if I get hit by that, though. I can't believe I'm alive. I do believe my level up just saved me with the, like, one HP that it gave me. Another opportunity for some attacks. So she pulls those out really slowly. That is dangerous. I have got to get out of the way of it faster. Kind of nice that she's not building up any kind of poison on me when she hits me with her tails. So I think I'll switch to the mace for now since I'm... Ah, oh, shit. I'm dead. Yep, dead. Well, this isn't going so well. So, I think maybe the damage to disparity was actually just that I ran out of stamina faster. Well, I run out of stamina faster when I'm using my mace as when I'm using my sword. Oh, did I finally despawn him? That's kind of nice. One less enemy in my way. Anyway, I backed myself up into a wall, lost all of my stamina, and was faltered by the double tail sweep. And then finish off with magic. Oh, that's nice. Fairly powerful. Almost as much damage as my plus three mace. And I can wield it. Great axe, eh? 
Clan Warriors, the finely crafted blade cuts smoothly, evidence that the Lion Clans are much more than vulgar beasts. Let's try it out. It's close to Hello Big Axe. Oh my gosh, that falters. Okay, so swing, hold down shield. Yeah, that takes a while to get it back up. Not as relevant when you're smashing the ground. Okay, so no follow-up swing for that. That's kind of fast. Fat rolling with this on, so I definitely can't use it against the boss. That's faster. Yeah, it's not a bad weapon. Unfortunately, I don't think I have the uh, capacity to. Shutting up now. Alright, and I'm back again. Weakness, right side. Really? Okay. Pairing. So that's three swipes. One, two. Yeah, that must be it. With the sword, I can get more attacks in and therefore deal more damage. Now, that's not to say that my theory that she has multiple armor types isn't, you know, viable, but I'm going to work with this instead. Okay, so on the way here, I've been noticing that. Backstepping is really effective against the Leonins. Or Lion Clan. Thinking magic. Come on, run, damn it. Fucking hell! Fires and bursts up. FUCKING HELL! I am dead! Okay then. This is kind of already obvious, but do not stand at range from her. I think you could maybe dodge her charged spear things that have the black points in them, but Good lord, it's fast. I don't think I can effectively, reliably dodge that. Like the, I was just saying that her uh, homing soul masses move in bursts of two. So that, that makes it very easy to dodge, but uh, that black, that black pointed shot Thing that she does at max range, that's definitely not something I can dodge easily or reliably. Okay, definitely going to have to think up something for this. Uh, this is pointless. I'm just going to heal every time I blow anyway. None of this seems like it would help me. This might save my ass, assuming it activates on lethal damage in time to reduce it from being lethal. I don't know if it actually works that way or not, but about to find out, I guess. Here we go. Where are my souls? To my right. Way. You know, I wonder if I equip the Ring of Whispering if it would have any effect on this. Missed. 
Okay, so she can stab those in two different positions. she not come up on that stone platform? Yeah, I don't think she can. This must be a safe spot. If I can cut those tails off, that's a perfect opportunity to do so. I have to get about mid-range to dodge this. Or, you know, just falter because it keeps smacking me in the shield. That works, too. Did I pick up my souls? Yeah, I guess I did. Alright, and I'm back again. I'm wondering, you know, in the previous game, the enemy that was like this on the giant spider, you could, uh had a weakness. If you shot the human half, it was like the entire human... Oh, hey. I guess you can falter getting out of the mist. That's kind of nice. Anyway, if you shot the like the entire human half was a weak spot. Basically, the head. Then you could get a faltering headshot with the bow. It was easy to stun lock her with a bow. But uh, I tried it briefly on this one since the lock-on appears to automatically target the human bit. But, uh, you must have to specifically aim at the- OH MY GOD! PUT ME DOWN! PUT ME DOWN! PUT ME DOWN! I'm dead. Yep, toxic. I have nothing that I can do to stop toxic. <clears throat> right there. I guess that that attack is so easy to punish her for because it's so extraordinarily lethal. Anyway. As I was saying, I briefly tried putting bows into our human half. Arrows. Arrows. Use bow to get arrow to move. I put arrows in our human half, and it didn't seem to falter her at all. So either that's completely gone, or you have to be, you know, aiming and actually hitting her in the head of your human half. The entire human half doesn't classify as a headshot anymore. Oh, thank you. Ooh, they have great shields. Definitely want to check this out. Yep. Well, it's better than this one, I guess. Except for not being magically oriented. Uh, made of wood, but reinforced with metal. Like, it's sturdy. Design on the shield... Yeah, damn! It's only 2.5 pounds! Uh, design on the shield appears to have some religious heaviness, but we will never know what sort of gods these warriors answer to. Hmm. Yeah, it's inferior in all aspects. Except for being incredibly lightweight. Okay, um, my souls are probably going to be right in the middle of the battlefield. That'll be nice. How about you? Overcommitted to that. I saw her falter and I wanted to punish her for it, but uh, got me killed. I didn't have enough stamina to do that. And that brings up a good point. This obviously has no effect on the boss fight. Uh, I might try to equip it when she dies. 
So, if I can falter her with enough repeated attacks, I might as well try for the stone ring to make it happen more often. Now, when she was doing her tail attacks, it was really easy to run up forward and punish her from the front. So, that's a nice trick I'm going to try. Have at ya! if I need to get her over into that back area to knock that item off that pillar or if I'll lose it permanently if she doesn't. Might as well find out. Yeah, here it is. Ah, shit. Alright, so that's definitely pretty easy to dodge when it's in close range. Can you knock this down for me? Nope! The answer is no! all my stamina. Oh, got hit by the little claws. Hi there. Even one of them catches you, you can't dodge any of the rest of them. Damn it. Maybe I should just convert to running in, running around with sprint when I see those things loaded up. Alright, and I am once again out of time. I'll see you all next time. Hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.